Hey guys, my name is George and I'm a business manager in the automotive business unit. Today we'll be talking about Maxim's 36 volt high voltage synchronous boost controller for infotainment applications, the Max 25200, Max 25201, and Max 25202. So these are some of the common design challenges we're trying to address in automotive systems. So we're trying, really trying to create a solution that has a very small solution size and very s low bomb cost very high efficiency and a flexible solution and then being able to perform in robust um, in ro having robust performance in harsh environments. So this is a quick one pager about the Max 25200, 01 and 02. So the Max 25200 is a device that can be configured in either a SEPIC or flyback configuration um, while the Max 25201 and 25202 are made to be a synchronous boost controller. So if you look at this device, the input voltage range is 3 volts up to 36 volts, then 1.8 volts after startup. This device does have a 42 volt abs max in a small 3 by 3 millimeter package. Um, this does have a programmable output voltage anywhere from 3.5 volts up to 60 volts. So you can use this for either a pre-boost um, to survive through cold crank, or you can use this to boost the voltage all the way up to 60 volts for LED lighting applications, um, audio amplifiers, and things like that. This device does have one of the lowest IQs in the industry, so the standby current is about 20 microamps and the shutdown current is only 2 microamps. And then we've really optimized the minimum on time at 60 nanoseconds, and so this helps uh, with, with high frequency performance. So this device can switch between 220 kilohertz all the way up to 2.2 megahertz. And then some of the great EMI features that we have in this device include spirit spectrum, forced PWM mode, or skip mode operation. And this device can operate in up to a four phase, up to four phases uh, with the Max 25202. So these are some quick subsystem block diagrams that we expect to see. So with the Max 25200, we see this used as a SEPIC. So that means if you need output voltage of 10 volts, but your input voltage might vary between three and a half volts or the up to 28 volts, you can use this device in a SEPIC configuration in order uh, to maintain a voltage that's in the middle of the input voltage range. Another application we see is for high-end and middle-range audio applications. So for high-end audio applications, you might see this in a dual-phase configuration. So we have the Max 25202, which acts as a master, and then we also have a Max 25202, which acts as the slave. And so in this sort of configuration, we can power audio systems all the way up to 200 watts. With the Max 25201 single-phase solution, uh, we can power middle and uh, audio applications. So this is 35 volts output up to 3 amps. So these are for 100 watt class D amplifier systems. So below we see how the Max 25200, the Max 25201, and the Max 25202 address different system design challenges. So the first challenge that we have is having a small solution size as well as lower bomb cost. And the ways that we achieve this is having synchronous rectification, which removes an asynchronous diode, 2.2 megahertz, uh, megahertz operation, which helps reduce uh, capacitors and the inductor size. And then we also allow for multi-phase operation in a small 16-pin 3x3 millimeter package. This is also a very efficient and flexible solution. So the quiescent current of this device is less than 20 microamps at light loads. We have fixed output voltages between 4.5 up to 14 volts. And then for adjustable output voltages, we can go between 1 to 65 volts. This device can be used as a boost, a SEPIC, or a flyback um, if you do need isolation. And this device does have spread spectrum as well. If we look at the efficiency figures on the bottom, at 2 megahertz from 14 volts in to 48 volts out at 1.5 amps, we're seeing about 95% efficiency. Now if you use that at 400 kilohertz, we can boost that efficiency all the way up to 98%, converting from 14 volts in to 48 volts out at 1.5 amps. So the last thing that we care about here is robust performance in harsh environments. So this device is tolerant up to 42 volts and has a standard automotive temperature grade uh, from negative 40 C to 125 C ambient and our device does support all the way up to 150 C junction. And then the VN minimum of this device is 1.8 volts uh, to help support cold crank conditions. So if you're ready to learn more, please contact your local sales representative or distributors. Take a look at our Max 25201 EV kit for single channel boost applications and Max 25202 EV kit for dual phase operation. We do have EV kits specifically for SEPIC applications as well. So the Max 25200S EV kit for SEPICs and the Max 25200F EV kit for flyback applications. Thanks for taking the time to learn about Maxim's 36 volt high voltage synchronous boost controllers for infotainment applications, the Max 25201, 202, and Max 25200.